Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome back to Mega Man X. Last time, we went through and took out the introductory stage and chill penguin, and I'm going in boss, uh, boss order, weakness order, rather. And, well, actually, I don't even have to. You know why I don't have to? Because I can get a really cool thing from Storm Eagle stage. And Storm Eagle himself is not too difficult to take down with just the Mega Buster and the Dash. If you want to take him on without the Dash, be my guest. Um, you will have so much fun. And by fun, and more fun than trying to avoid being... Yit, yit, yit. Thank goodness for wall jumping. Okay, come on. Thank you. And whee! Have a heart. Okay, so whoop, and back around we go. I'll admit, in a lot of games, I'm not a big fan of backtracking. I like to just go through in one particular way. Now, that way to go through may have multiple paths that I could take, but nah. but but at the end of the day, it's still you know minimal backtracking, if any at all. This is so cool. Charge on it, and you charge this up too. That's kind of cool. I never knew that as a kid, by the way. Uh, and a sub tank, which, okay, for fellow Mega Man players out there, I gotta know, which do, which system do you think is better? The E-Tank system or the sub-tank system? Um, to, for explaining it for those who may not get it, uh, the E-Tank system, you grab an energy tank and you have a one full tank, use whenever you want. But once you use it, it's gone. Whereas sub-tank, you pick it up, and as long as your life meter is full, it'll fill up the sub-tank until that's full, and then once you empty that, you have the sub-tank there for you to use again. Um, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious which guys, which one you guys like a little bit better. Because personally, if I had to choose between the two, I like the sub-tank system. Because, um, yeah, you may you may find yourself grinding a little bit, especially for like final battles and shit like that. But, you know, it's worth it because you don't have to go hunting through other areas. You don't have to go back to a lab or anything to try and build new energy tanks. Um, and you're grinding for something anyway. You may as well grind to fill those up. Um, uh, speaking of which... Da, 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 Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That, oh, God, what was... The name of the song may have been this, the da-da-da thing. But it was, like, on this, like, dancing baby album or whatever, and it was featured in some car commercial. You know, the da-da-da. do 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 Something like that. But anyway, yeah. That's... That, 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 those are flammable and explodable. Oh, hey! And yes, we have a capsule. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Useful. In some areas. Also, what he doesn't tell you is there are rocks that can fall in Stinky Million stage. You can stand still, let the rocks hit you, and you're fine. So, it basically protects your head from all manners of things. But not these guys. No, they, 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 they will not, the helmet will not protect you from those. Uh, whoop. I'll take that, thank you. And, up. Oh, thank you. Okie dokie. <laughs> you kept up with me, and then you missed me anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, almost time for Mr. Eagle. Mr. Eagle of the Storm. Whoop. There we are. Wow. All of this and not one energy drop. That's weird. <laughs> uh, you know, I wonder how many people miss this and actually fall to their death. Probably not as many as you would think, but I'm sure somebody has done it. And inexplicably, the airship explodes. Hi, Storm Eagle. You used to be my friend. And now you work for Sigma. I think in some continuities, C's 
doing it reluctantly and he's doing this just to kind of keep up the facade. But... Eh, come on. Thank you. Ah! Damn it, you. Come here. Don't spit your babies at me. How are you even having babies? Anyway, aren't you a male eagle? We don't know for sure. Oh, here we go. This is one of those where I really wish I could hear the sound while I'm recording. And... Yeah. Damn. Uh, there we go. That took minimal damage. That's not bad. <laughs> and... Whee! And that's going to fall on somebody else's stage. After a moment. Oh, so where, where am I on time? Oh, that, that time's not too bad. Storm Tornado! Probably one of the best weapons in the game. Because, you know, against the, like, the little mechanoloid enemies and all of that, it'll just tear right through most of them. Um, so yeah, I'm about, what, six minutes or so in. You know what? I'm going to take on a second stage. Because I can. Because it's my video, I decide when it ends. <laughs> I might do this. I might do like two, two bosses per, uh, per video as long as the, as long as one boss takes less than ten minutes, then you know why not? Oh yeah, and because I beat Chill Penguin, uh, Flame Mammoth stage is iced out. So we don't we don't have to worry about fire floors. We don't have to worry about things like. Fireballs leaping up and, and, and... Oh, here's an energy. Thank you. We don't have to worry about things like that messing me up here from doing this. And yes, there's a reason for that. Come on. Come on, you asshole. Wow. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We don't have all day, but I could do this all day if I really wanted to. Yeah. Almost. I grabbed onto it at least. It is possible. In fact, it's meant to be possible to do this. Yeah. Let me come back. Come back, because there's something I can grab real quick and. It'll break up the monotony a little bit here. Okay. And. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Another heart. Two hearts. X is a Time Lord now. And yep. Ah, damn. Ah, damn it. Ah, fuck. Come on. One more. Yep. You know, I'm timing my jumps properly, or at least I think I am. Maybe there's a slight delay? Which hasn't really been doing much against me for right now. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yes! Get on up there. Ah. This capsule contains a part. Well, yeah. Which will increase the capabilities of your X Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Bit of a mistranslation. You can fire all types of weapons already. What it gives you the ability to do is charge all of your weapons. Which also increases the power of your buster. Boom. You get the pink pretty stuff. So, you can charge your special weapons now. Case in point. Whee! And right into his face. Yeah. I'm actually gonna try something I have never tried before. See that wall over there? That's not how it, that's not how to do it. Okay. And yep. It's like I can almost make it that way, but there's an easier way to get up there. Like I said, I never tried it that way before. <laughs> and I don't want to spend the rest of the video trying to get up there that way. So, we're going to move on and taste the power of pink. Up 
there. You know what we're gonna do? Eat. Okay then. You did not want the pink. Ah. Pink, pink, pink. And whoop, and hey! Got another sub tank. Yay! Okay, and up we go. Um. So yeah. <laughs> Trying to vamp for a moment here while I get my bearings in this stage. Because of course I do. Um. Ah. <sighs> There's so many things that I never really quite got or picked up on when I was a kid. Ow! And he's dead. <laughs> Look at that. Ow! How that doesn't kill me in one shot, I don't know. But... Uh, whee! And how... 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 If everything else is frozen over, how are we getting, like, magma popping out of this? Uh... Oh. Uh, Mace Joes. It's Morning Star Joes. I don't know. They're Joes of some kind. The Mega Man game is complete without a Joe. Yo, Joe. Night Joe? I don't know. Anyway. Since we have Flame Mammoth's weakness, we can use it. Huh. <sighs> See, there's still a fire there. I mean, I, I guess the, the, the effects of beating Chill Penguin didn't hit everything here. It would have been kind of cool if, if like, uh, Flame Mammoth himself was weakened a bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for me... Okay, I don't know how it's coming across for you guys, but for me, there's there's like some frame, not frame droppage, but, but, you, you, but, why did I do that? I was, uh, I thought I had enough to power through it. I wanted to get into a better position. I have paid, I have paid the price. Uh, I paid the price for, for that sort of thing. Just like the time I died after making flirtatious comments about about a Mega Man fan game maker. Which, funny fact, she commented on that video and she's like, yeah, that is what you get. <laughs> so, it, it, was a, it made for a funny moment at the very least. Uh, yeah, just play it a bit safe, play it more safe, come on. There you go, bye bye. Fun fact, you can cut off his trunk with Boomer Kwanger's weapon, but I don't have it, and I don't really feel like trying to use it. So, well, I, I can't really use it if I don't have it, I guess. <laughs> oh, so that is two stages for this particular video. Yay! And for that, we get the Fire Wave. He's a flamethrower! I like fire. Fire is good. Fire good for fire good for things. Um, so with that, we've taken down Storm Eagle and Flame Mammoth. The next time, well, we will just have to see where we go next. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Take care, everybody, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>